All right, yeah, I'm ready. You guys ready? Yeah. Y'all ready? Space Jam, here we go. Space Jam. Space Jam. Here's your chance. Do your dance at the Space Jam. Alright, here we go. Space Jam. You guys know the Space Jam website? Woo! Space Jam. 1996. Amazing. Uh, it's a uh, Space Jam the movie. It's for Space Jam the movie. It was a 1996 movie where Michael Jordan enlisted Bugs Bunny and his friends to help them win a basketball match. I don't know why it says match. Who says match? Basketball match? against a, gang, a group of aliens who wanted to enslave them for their amusement park. I don't know, the best, the best plot for a movie that could have been invented. Amazing. It's the highest grossing basketball film of all time. So it's got that. Pretty cool. I don't know what Air Bud did, but it's my personal favorite. 38% uh, Rotten Tomatoes. I don't know. That's, it's, yeah, whatever. Critics don't know what they're talking about. Uh, Space Jam. So the website is just kind of this amazing thing that has lived on forever and will not die. Uh, I assume they're still selling copies of it, so it has some sort of financial gain for the movie, but it still exists. So if you go to spacejam.com, it's still out there. It's basically unmodified. Uh, kind of interesting that it did, it was updated recently to comply with GDRP, um, <laughs> their privacy policy. I don't think they update it too often. And there's a Twitter bot, which Matt Steele uh, informed me about, uh, Space, Jam, Space Jam Check. So it's a Twitter account that basically just checks to see if the Space Jam website is up. <laughs> and, and it's every couple hours. It's like pretty often. All right, so today what I want to do is I want to do a little live coding for you all. I'm going to modernize the Space Jam website. So here's what it looks like right now, today. Pretty amazing. It's got like a little space theme to it, as you might expect. So cool. Um, but the, the code behind it is pretty old. Um, so that's, uh, it, it's like, what, 32 years or something? No, 22 years. Um, I made my first website in 1997, so it's about the same stuff that I was doing at that time. So we're going to modernize it, we're going to make it new, we're going to make it better, we're going to add features, we're not gonna, just going to refactor it and not do anything with it. Um, code that works is code that you shouldn't touch, but we can add features to this to make it better. Um, so we're going to try and do as little as possible, but modernize it at the same time. So really what I want to do first is just go to the website and bring up the view source. Um, let me start key casting, actually, so you guys can see. I don't think everyone will be able to see that. So on the bottom left, it's going to show like the command keys that I type. So if you want to see those, you might have to move. Sorry. Um, so here's the source code. You, go to, you can just go to the website, go to view source, view. Uh, nah, it doesn't show there, but you can right click, view. Oh, wait, sorry. Go here, right click. View source will be somewhere. I don't know where it is. But it's command option U to bring up view source. And all I'm going to do right now is just copy this. So select it all, copy it, put it in my editor. All right, we got Space Jam. Here we go. Space Jam locally. So let me bring this up in Finder. Let me actually make sure that, OK, this is good. Space Jam, here we go. Where are you? Code Space Jam. All right, this is my Space Jam HTML document that I just saved. Modified today at 11.04. Let's go to our web browser and let's open it. Don't look at any of my client stuff. <laughs> Space Jam, here we go. All right, Space Jam, check it out, local. OK, I did cheat a little bit. I saved all the images off beforehand. Uh, they're in this folder. And I did that manual. You can use wget to, to spider all that stuff if you want. And if you want the command to do that, see me afterward. Um, but I just went through and saved them manually. Um, so yeah, we have all these images local now. Great. This is how it renders. You don't need a web server. You don't need anything. You can just open up the HTML file, and it renders. Hey, 
awesome. There's no work that we had to do to really get that. We just added a couple short steps. Um, and now we can start editing this file. We can add whatever we want to it. So for example, let's add some just text at the top. Reload it. Hooray, there it is. Look, text. We've edited it. This is an amazing tech talk. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. All right. This has been great. Uh, OK, so what do we want to do? We got the uh, local copy. So the first thing I want to do is look at these JavaScript errors here on the, here on the right. So even in 1996, they had a bunch of tracking JavaScript, which is amazing, ahead of their time, I'm sure. Um, so well, let's just delete all that. We don't need it. It's junk. Hey, all right, we deleted a couple script tags, and now we don't have any JavaScript errors. Hey, you should use that in all of your applications. Delete, <laughs> delete your script tags. You won't have JavaScript errors. That's my recommendation. All right, so the next thing I want to do is to remove all the advertisements, because those aren't loading anyway. We didn't save them. Um, so what spacejam.com has done, which is very nice for if, you have an, if you're writing ad blocker software, is that it, they've added this, ads do not touch sections to their code, which is great. Oh, man, I won't be able to code it then. Can you guys read that? Is that? OK. All right, so what I'm just going to do is just delete those, see if we find any more ads. Oh, yeah, here's one. Let's get rid of it. Ads, 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 ads. Oh, yeah, they even add ending blocks for me, so I don't have to do anything. All right, no more ads on the page. Sweet. Space Jam ad-free experience. <laughs> All right. What do we want to do next? Let's look here. Oh, the yeah, one thing I noticed, and if you're uh, a seasoned web developer like me, you know it doesn't have a doc type at the top, which means uh, it's going to render in an old Quirks rendering mode. So we need to add a doc type at the top so it renders in a moder modern rendering mode, doc type HTML. That's all you need to do. So you can reload it. And the thing that you might have noticed is that the, uh, it moved just a tiny little bit. So your rendering mode determines your box model, which is not something I'm going to go into to today. But your box model kind of determines the dimensions of padding and stuff on the page. So when you opt into a standards-based rendering model, uh, your dimensions of things on your page might change just a little bit. Um, so let me see if I can Let me just delete that and go back and refresh again. So, oh, it, it jiggled a little bit up. That's amazing. OK, now let's re. Oh, goodness, what am I doing? OK, I screwed up my undo. Doc type HTML. OK, let's do that again. Oh, look, it changed again. OK, cool. All right, so we got standards based rendering mode. Um, we're working from the file system. The other thing that you might notice, or the other thing I'd like to check out front, is uh, what the character encoding of the document is. There's no character encoding declared on this page. So, the problem with that is if we add some weird characters, so for example, if I add an emoji to the page and refresh here, it will work in Chrome because Chrome is fancy with rendering, or excuse me, with uh, character encoding. But if we open it in Safari, you cannot see the emoji here at the top. It shows as something you don't want. So to fix that, let's just add a character encoding. So if you don't know what a character encoding is, just use UTF-8. UTF-8. Here we go. Hooray! Look, an emoji on Space Jam. <laughs> All right, so let's get rid of that, because I don't want that. But character encoding is very important. Um, so just use UTF-8 if, if you don't know what that's about. All right, so the next thing we want to do is let's check it in uh, Lighthouse. So Lighthouse is a tool that was created by Google to help audit your page. So we can try to perform an audit here, but oh, we can't because you need HTTP, HTTPS pages. It says right down here, can only audit HTTP, HTTPS pages and Chrome extensions. So what we need to do is spin up a web server to actually do this, to audit this page. So what I'm going to do, I have my command line here. Let me make this bigger. I actually have a static site generator that I built called Eleventy, which includes a web server. So the web server it includes uh, also has browser sync built in. So I'm going to just use that just for the e sake of easiness of this demo. Um, you can use any web server that you want. Uh, I'm just going to use this one just because it's got a bunch of features that I already want. So I'm in my Space Jam directory. 
I'm going to run this 11t command to start up a spin up web server. Uh, and then I can command click on my terminal to bring it up in the browser. So this is Space Jam with the web server. Hey, amazing. Looks exactly the same. All right, let's go into our dev tools. Let's get rid of that. Let's try an audit in Lighthouse. So Lighthouse, I hope, will work without a Wi-Fi connection. No goodness, it's OK. Does anyone have the Wi-Fi? No? Is there a Wi-Fi password? Uh, it's a flywheel party network. Oh. Join the party. Flywheel party, here we go. Well, all over Jason, join the party. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was just a call to action for me. <laughs> <laughs> Not the actual password of the, OK. I thought that was just something people said when they joined. OK, no, all right. All right, I'm back in the game now. All right, let's see if we can actually go to spacejam.com. If not, I will tether to my phone. Space Jam. <laughs> yes. All right, let's try this again. Relaunch the dev tools. Perform an audit. Warming up, goodness. The cold, cold winter of Nebraska. All right, we might not be able to get this going. Bear with me. I'm going to try and tether real quick. Bluetooth, here we go. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. I should have faded that. Oh, man, that would be so cool if I could fade that out. Anyway, <laughs> whatever, whatever, it's fine. All right, try again. Lighthouse, come on. Verizon. This is the live test of the Verizon network. Hey, it's working. All right, so Lighthouse loads your page. It does a bunch of stuff behind the scenes, uh, resizes everything to your mobile viewport, whatever. And then it will compute a score for you to show you how cool your website is. This website's going to be amazing, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, sweet. So performance is great because it's a super old website and it has almost no features built into it. Um, accessibility, not great. Uh, best practices, SEO, whatever. That's all fine. Excuse me. So let's see. One thing we want to do to uh, get this to render a little bit better, because it's not responsive at all, um, is that we need to add a, you guys do this a lot? All right, we need to add a, uh, a viewport, a meta viewport tag. So let's see. Meta, let's see, I got my cheat sheet here, name viewport content equals width device width. Initial scale equals 1.0. All right, we've got a viewport. Now we'll ensure, at least when we resize here, actually nothing will happen. So let's switch to a mobile emulator here. So what the meta viewport does when you're in mobile mode in the development tools, and you can change that with this little drop down right here, mobile desktop, um, and it resizes the page to match your view, viewport width. So not ideal, but when S Steve Jobs first introduced the iPhone in whatever year it was, way after the Space Jam website, 10 years probably after the Space Jam website, um, that's how he envisioned all web apps would kind of operate. That was, this was before responsive web design, um, that you'd have to zoom in. And if you go to New York Times, that was kind of the demo he showed in his first Apple 
uh, iPhone demo, the New York Times website. The New York Times has kind of stuck to their guns here um, and still kind of has this sort of bad experience we have to zoom in. Uh, so not, not, not great. Let me turn the page on my cheat sheet. All right, so we're going to fix that if we have time. Let's see. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I did Lighthouse. I did that. Uh, let's do an accessibility audit of the original website. So there's this tool called Axe, and it will basically analyze your source code of your page to try and find accessibility problems. Um, so there, there's a bunch of stuff wrong with this markup. Actually, it's not too bad. Uh, we want a lang attribute to denote what, what language the, the site is in. So let's add that real quick. Check off these things. Repeated blocks. Let's see. I don't know what that is. Let's skip it. A main landmark. That's just for screen readers to kind of know what the main content of the page is. So the Space Jam website actually has like this giant table that it uses. So I'm just going to wrap the table in a main. If I can find the end of it. There it was. Main. All right. Oh, we're knocking them off now. Content should be contained in a landmark region. So landmark regions are an ARIA thing. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it's super necessary, so we don't have to worry about that. But we could add a we could add a role to our main if we wanted. Uh, I, I don't know if it's main or content. Let's try it out. Nope, not that one. Oh, goodness. I'm lost. Well, I made more problems for myself. Let's just skip that one. <laughs> goodness, what is happening here? All right. All right, so color contrast. So all these, all these links are, are built into the image. Uh, the text is built into the image, which actually isn't horrible, because they all have alt text on the images. So that's good. Uh, let's actually let's try and demo. Oh my goodness, what just happened? There we go. Voice over on Chrome, web content. All right. Space Jam, web content, Space Jam, Space Jam, web content. So right now we're, I'm using a screen reader. To enter the web area, press Control, Option, Shift, Link, Image, press Box Shuttle, Main One Item. And this will show you kind of how a person without uh, Site might navigate your navigate the Space Jam website. Link image Jam Central. So you can you kind of see that it reads link, off the alt text when you link, when you link, text link, through here link, or when you tap link, through here. Link. Privacy policy. You are currently Updated. on link inside Privacy of web content. Policy. To click this link, press Control Option Space to exit this F5 button. No. You are currently on a button. F5 button. You are currently on a button. To press this button, double tap anywhere oh on the touch bar. F5 button. You are currently on a button. To press this are button, you... double tap anywhere on the touch bar. F5 button. I know you are currently F5. on a button. To press this button. F5 button. You are currently on a button. To press this button. You disable voiceover. Let's see. This could be a problem. So, oh, T. Bar camp talk. Here we go. Notion busy. Command F5. Note Chrome. Space jam window. Link. F5 but F5 button. Notion ready. You are currently on a button. Application, mm. Alfred, system dialog, apps, Chrome, space jam, wind, system preferences, V, C, O, V. You are currently on a toolbar. To interact with the items on this, turn voiceover on and off. Ah. System. <laughs> All right, that went amazing. All right, so the accessibility of the website isn't actually too bad because they have images with alt text all built in, so it's, it's not horrible. Um, but the problem with that is when you zoom in, 
everything gets really blurry, not great. Um, so if I had more time, I would pull that out, but I'm running super low on time, apparently. So I don't think I'm gonna have time to do that. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do, let's make this responsive real quick. So the weird thing about this website is it actually has a tiny bit of CSS built into it. Um, the CSS spec came out in 1996, so this is, it's, they fit three lines in, uh, <laughs> super great. So just to kind of show you that the setup of the, how the page is architected, I'm gonna add an outline to every single element on the page. Um, so this will kind of show us the layout. And the reason I use outline and not border is so it doesn't actually change the dimensions of anything. Um, so it's just kind of a way to sort of cheat. Um, so let's inspect some of this stuff. All of it's in a table. What I would do if I had more time is that I would uh, restructure this markup to be um, more semantic. Uh, but I don't have that. I don't have time for that. And I would render it using CSS Grid because Grid is CSS Grid is great and it uh, would do a lot of the same things that this table-based layout would do. But I don't have time to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to monkey patch the shit out of this table. Here we go. All right. So one of the things you can do, which is kind of fun, is that you can change the display properties of table markup. So let's see here. With 100%, there's hard-coded widths on these tables. Kind of see, this is getting a little better. Zoom out. Oh. Now I've done it. All right, here we go. All right, so our, our table is fluid width. Nothing else is fluid width. We got display block on the table rows. Let's try display block on the table cells. All right, we're starting to get a mobile layout. Amazing. Let's add this stuff inside of a media, media query. I'm gonna cheat. I got a media query macro built in. I don't know why my option key isn't working right now. It's amazing. It's amazing. We're even mixing tabs and spaces. All right, we're going, we're rolling with it. All right, oops, I want a max width. All right, so this will actually toggle between at a certain break point. So that's our old layout. This is what we're trying to do with our mobile layout. The problem here is that we don't really want um, the Space, Space Jam logo to be in the middle of the page as we scroll. So one thing we can do here is, let's try this. Main T-body, we'll use Flexbox instead of table layout. So our Space Jam logo is, let's see, it's in the third row, cell number two. You notice all, all these have like weird row spans and call spans on them. We're just, we're just completely ignoring those. We don't need to worry about that. Um, all right, so third row, second cell. Oh, that drives me nuts. All right, nth child. What did I say, three? Second cell, two. All right. So we can use Flexbox to actually reorder things. So if I set this to order minus one, I've screwed something up. Oh, wrapping up, okay. Uh, what did I do? All right, this has gone much worse than I thought it would. But you can kind of see that, so we could use Flexbox to sort of move this row up to the top. 
don't know where my CSS went wrong. Does someone see the error? It's not indented properly, but it's there. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Sweet. This is bar camp, right? Awesome. Um, okay, I got to almost nothing that I wanted to go through. Does anybody have any questions? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you going to use these techniques to build a space here too much first? You know what? I can, I can show you the final product. <laughs> Let's just skip to that. Let's reset everything. discard my local changes so that I don't even have the ability to see what I did wrong. <laughs> Let's go back in here. All right, this is what it's supposed to look like. Uh, so I didn't make any markup changes to, or make very minimal markup changes to the, uh, to that, to the Space Jam markup, um, but it will swap between mobile viewport and this. And you know what? I'm just going to rerun Lighthouse just just to say why not. Yeah, it's all on GitHub. And let's just close with this because that demo went so amazing. You guys learned so much. Here's what I'll do. I'll, I'll put up a video of this later and I'll go through all the steps that I did. And if you want to watch it, great. If you don't want to watch it, that's fine. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll just, can I let this finish real quick? Sure. Okay. Sure. It's almost done. Who's your favorite monster? Uh, <laughs> you don't make me pick my favorite kid. That's just a question you don't ask. <laughs> All right. Performance, not great because I'm tethering right now. Um, but I got service workers in there. I got all the accessibility problems fixed. Um, I got the reordering on the mobile view. Uh, yeah, that could have gone a lot better. But all right, uh, if you have any questions about it, you can come up and find me later. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.